Hello there, you're watching Sensible Investing TV. Now, a phrase you may have heard mentioned several times lately is smart beta. So what does it mean? Over the course of the next four video blogs, we'll try to explain. We'll be hearing from experts who like the idea of smart beta and from some who don't. And most important of all, we'll be investigating whether smart beta actually works. First of all, what do we mean by beta? And for that matter, alpha. Well, alpha and beta are statistical measurements for calculating returns from equities, both mutual funds and individual stocks. Alpha is a measure of how an investment fares compared to an appropriate benchmark, say for example the returns delivered by Marks & Spencer or Lloyds Banking Group shares, or by the Schroeder UK Equity Fund compared to the FTSE 100 share index of leading British companies. Beta is based on the volatility of an investment. You can think of it as the tendency of that stock or fund's returns to respond to swings in the market. Active fund managers pursue alpha. In other words, they seek returns over and above those that the market as a whole delivers. Passive investors, on the other hand, acknowledge it's very hard indeed to identify which particular stocks will outperform the market. Rather than pay an active manager to try and probably fail to pick the winners and avoid the losers, they choose to ignore alpha altogether. Instead, they invest in an entire market and simply capture the market's beta. They're happy to follow a market through its ups and downs, safe in the knowledge that almost invariably the long-term trend is upwards, and that over time they're saving a fortune in charges by opting for low-cost passive funds. Traditionally, passive investors have used index funds weighted according to market capitalization. In other words, the price of an individual stock multiplied by the number of shares. The bigger the market cap, the bigger the weighting. However, market cap weighting does have its critics, who say it can overweight overvalued stocks and, conversely, underweight undervalued ones. Instead, market cap sceptics prefer funds that are weighted according to other fundamentals. For example, company size or the dividends that companies return to shareholders. In their view, funds weighted according to factors such as those are likely to deliver a better trade-off between risk and return than funds based purely on market capitalization. In a sense, they're neither active nor passive, but would like to have the best of both worlds. They want to capture market beta, but in the smartest possible way. Hence the phrase, smart beta. Now, a word of warning. What we've just given you is a hugely simplified explanation of an extremely complex subject. Smart beta is an umbrella term that lacks definition. Others prefer terms such as advanced beta, alternative beta, or fundamental indexing. It's also a subject that polarizes opinion. In the second video blog in this series, we'll be hearing from a range of experts with very different points of view. So until next time, goodbye and thank you for watching.